YouTube, it's Jonathan, and it is time for my first monthly favorites of the year. Yes, you heard it. January is almost over, and I've got quite a few things to talk about today. Um, so let's just get started. I think I'm gonna start with skincare first this month because that is what I've been really focused on this month. Um, I've had kind of an up and down skin month this month. Starting with skincare, I've got a couple items to talk about. If you watched my Origins haul and unboxing video, you'll know that I am brand new to using some Origins products, and I have quite a few that I've been testing out. I will maybe, if you all want to see it, do kind of a hot or not style video on um, some of the Origins products, because I definitely love some of them. There are a couple that I don't necessarily... I don't really hate anything, but there are a few that I don't necessarily love love so if you want to see a video kind of on my impression of them since I've been using them for about five weeks now um, I will do that for you just let me know by giving me a thumbs up or leaving a comment below three of my skincare products are from origin so first I'm gonna talk about something that I didn't haul in that video because I ended up ordering this afterwards this is the clean energy gentle cleansing oil and this is just a makeup removing oil um, I use about two pumps of this, three if I'm wearing quite a bit of makeup, and just rub this into my dry face, add a little bit of water, and then use a cloth to remove it, and it takes off every bit of makeup, waterproof mascara, everything, and I absolutely love it. It smells delicious too, and I love that you can purchase the pump. I wish that it just came with the pump, that makes sense to me, but they do offer the pump separately, but I do like that. I've also been loving the night cream that I got. This is the Origins High Potency Nitamins Mineral Enriched Renewal Cream. I really like this because it's not as advanced anti-aging as products I've been using in the past for a night cream, so I feel like it's giving my skin a nice break. I feel like I've been using some stuff that's maybe a little bit too harsh for someone my age with my skin type. Um, so this is just enough moisture. Um, that it doesn't make me feel overly oily or greasy, and I do feel like I get a good amount of hydration out of it. I haven't noticed, like, huge life-changing results from it, and I wasn't really expecting to. I'm at an age where I'm trying to just maintain where I'm at. I'm not trying to, you know, reverse any gigantic wrinkles or change my pore size or do anything dramatic, so I think this is a good medium. It's a good... Uh, maintenance product, so I, I've been liking it. And the last product from Origins that I've been trying this month that I really like is actually the only Origins products that I've tried like before I got this shipment of them, um, and this is the Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. I've used the little like single size pots of this um, in the past. I bought them from Sephora, and I have almost used this whole miniature tube up. This was a sample that they sent me. I've been using it about once or twice a week, and I've also been using it as a spot treatment on any blemishes or acne spots or anything like that to kind of help clear them quicker. And I absolutely love it. We had a snowcation recently where we got snowed in for about four days, and I had the three largest pimples I've ever had in my life, and I just constantly kept putting this over them and kind of using it as that spot treatment, and it really helped to clear them in just a matter of days. Last skincare product is actually from The Body Shop. This is their tea tree oil. I love this. I've had a few jars of it in the past, but this month I've been adding a little bit into my morning moisturizer. Sometimes I'll add it into my serum just to kind of clear the pores. Like I said, I had sort of a breakout recently, and I feel like this definitely also helped in getting rid of it quickly. Um, and it just kind of makes everything you put on feel light and fresh and um, cooling, which can be really nice after a really hot shower. And my boyfriend Casey has also been using this. I think this was in my last month's favorites as well, but it's something I'm still continuing to enjoy. That is skincare out of the way. I only have one body product, so I'm just going to throw it in here, and that is the Soap & Glory Sugar Crush Fresh & Foamy Body Wash. This smells so good. It smells like sweet lime, and it is... The refreshing vacation that I need every single morning during this horrible winter that we're having. Anyways, it's really moisturizing as well, which is nice. So I've been, I've just been enjoying the, you know, minute and a half that I spend in the shower using this product. And then my skin smells pretty good for a few minutes. It doesn't linger all day. It's definitely not going to interfere with a fragrance that you wear or anything like that. But it is just a nice escape for those few minutes, especially in this cold weather. Now onto makeup and makeup accessories. First, I'm going to talk about some brushes. These are the Sonia Kashuk like holiday collection brushes from Christmas, and Casey, my boyfriend, got them for me for Christmas, and I love them. I've used them, or at least a handful of them, pretty much daily when applying my makeup. My favorites are this one, which is like the buffing brush. I use this for foundation, concealer. Sometimes I'll use it for um like a cream blush and things like that. 
Then I really like the big one I've used as my bronzer brush. And I also really like this little one. This is kind of like a larger MAC 217. And it is really great for blending in the crease or just setting the under eye area. And the pencil brush is really great. Um, great for under around the eye area or concealing small parts. And then, okay, just I like all of them pretty much. But um, last one, I really like this um, square shaped tiny, tiny brush. This has helped me to kind of enjoy using brow pomade a little bit more. I used this in a tutorial um, with brows recently, so you can check that out if you're interested in how I use it. But I just love the detail on these. These are a metallic gold. They look very um, like Great Gatsby kind of art deco. Um, very luxurious feeling, I guess. And they are, they're not like too heavy, but they do feel nice in the, like, when you're using them. Anyways, I set these in this black matte kind of, it used to be a candle and I took the sticker off and finished the candle. So they sit in this on my desk and I think it looks really nice and I love them a lot. Now what makeup to talk about first? Let's grab this blush. This is the Lorac Buildable Blush in Prism. This is one of their new products I did a first impression on. I didn't so much love the foundation. I gave it a few more tries. Again, this is in the shade Prism. It's sort of a soft coral color. It's peachy, but it's not overly pink and it's not overly um, bright at all. It's very, it is very pigmented, but you can really slowly build it if you um, are using the right kind of brushes. And I like it a lot. I love the packaging and it's very slim, so it's great for travel. To highlight, I've been using this Josie Marin sample. This is the Argan Enlightenment Illuminizing Veil and it is just a soft white gold, I guess, highlight color. And it's very natural looking. It is not like a strobing, high shine, glitter glow. It is very natural. I'm not wearing it today. I have on some Becca highlighter, which is a little bit more intense. Um, but it's just, it's just soft enough to give the skin um, a lit from within glow without looking over overdone or too trendy. I like applying this with my fingers. It is a powder, so you could use a brush, but I like to pick it up with my fingers, place it on the top of my cheeks, under the brow, inner corner, all of those places that you normally like to highlight. On Tati's recommendation, I picked up a Colorese Shadow from L'Oreal Paris. This is one of their new singles, and this is Quartz Fumé, number 204, and it's just a bronzy, browny, chocolatey kind of color. Um, it's a little bit warmer than I had thought it was when I looked at it in the store, but it's beautiful. It, it looks good on me, and I like how simple it is. You just use your fingertips to apply it, um, and then I'll take a fluffy brush and just blend out the crease to make it look like a soft, smoky shadow. Um, and it's one of those kind of products you can just wear one color. You don't need to use 16 to have a crazy eye look. Um, this you can just throw on, throw on some mascara, and have a simple, soft, smoky eye, and I think it's really great. The pigment is nice. The texture is what I really love about it, um, and they have some other pretty colors. I definitely want to grab a handful more and try them all out. A product that I've had for a while but never really knew what to do with because it wasn't the right color for me is this from Laura Geller. This is the BB Cream All-in-One Skin Perfecting Beauty Balm in the shade Medium. I picked this up when I was tan and I thought like it was going to be the greatest thing in the world. I was bronzed and it was just too dark. So more recently I was going through my makeup collection, kind of getting rid of a few things that I don't use or that are expired or that just don't work for me. And I picked this up and I just couldn't bear to get rid of this full bottle because I've only worn it a couple times. So I actually have been using it as a cream bronzer on the top of my cheeks and across my forehead after applying a BB cream or a lightweight foundation and it just gives the skin a beautiful glow because it's a BB cream and it's hydrating. Um, but it also has great skincare benefits so it is healthy for the skin. I have a new favorite brow combo. I thought I would never get over the Lancome Le Sorciel Defini, which I do still love. I use that when I want more of a bold brow because the color I have is a slight bit darker than this one. This is what I've been using for my supernatural brow days like I have today. I use the shade Blonde, or Universal Blonde, from the It Cosmetics Brow Power Super Skinny. And this is exactly what it says. It's a Universal Blonde shade of a very super skinny brow pencil. It's the same design as um, the Le Sorciel Defini or like the Anastasia Brow Wiz or any of those super thin brow pencils. But the color of this is spot on if you have um, like a light to medium shade of blonde hair. Um, it would probably work if you have like a platinum or like very fair hair too, um, but it is just warm enough to look natural, but just cool enough to not give you that orangey brow look. Um, and it's got a little fluffy um, spoolie on the other end and I really like it for natural brow days. And I've been trying to kind of grow my brows out a little bit and let them look a little bit more natural and less 
shaped. I kind of like that fluffier, brushed up brow, so I've gone back to using the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in Caramel to brush the brow hairs up and kind of hold them in more of a fluffy appearance, I guess. I don't know, I've just been looking at pictures of myself recently and looking at old videos and seeing kind of my brows are just getting a little bit too thin, a little bit too feminine, I think, um, and I, I just kind of want to butch them up. I don't know, is that... Are you laughing at me? Yeah. So this combination has brought my brows back to a more natural looking state. Um, and I also like them because I have used um, sort of a lightening treatment on my hair to make it a little bit warmer. Um, I'd been doing a very cool toned blonde like last summer and ever since the fall I've really been into warming my hair up. I think it kind of works better with my overall complexion to have a warmer vibe going. So, great combo. Thank you. Something else I've really been into recently has been super nude lips. I've always done a neutral toned lip, but I've really been getting into more of a lighter nude, more of a, um, not a concealer lip, but a, a, a pale nude lip, and I still love a neutral lip, so I've grabbed the four nude lipsticks that I've had in my top drawer of my makeup cabinet that I've been reaching for pretty much daily. I grab one of these four. Um, I have a few others that I like as well, some glosses too, but I wanted to show you the four nude lipsticks that I've really been into. Um, the one I'm wearing today I'll start with is the L'Oreal Collection Exclusive by JLo. This is Jennifer's Nude 370, and it is just that. It's a neutral nude lipstick. It's not the lightest of them, but it does like pale out my natural lip color a little bit and I really like that. Um, the darkest of the ones that I have here is Dubai from Cargo. I think I wore this in a tutorial recently, but it is just a, a, a nude lipstick shade. Um, another one I know that I definitely used in a tutorial recently is Park Avenue Princess from Tarte. This is um, probably the second lightest um, of the colors that I have here, and I really like this one because it's very sheer and it smells minty, which is nice, um, a nice touch that they added there. And it's very buttery, it's, it's, a, it's a good texture. And the last one I'm gonna show you is Nylon Nude from Smashbox. This is the most pigmented, kind of the, the lightest and shade as well. It's the most beigey, it has the least amount of pink in it, and it is Nylon Nude. This color I, have, I wore on New Year's Eve, um, and I, I just like it a lot. It pairs really, really well with a smoky eye. Um, and I just like to kind of pat it on the lip and then pat with my fingers. I'll occasionally throw on a little bit of a clear gloss or, um, even some pencil around the edge to define because it is very, very fair. Um, but this color, I think, maybe got discontinued because the Ulta that I shop at does not carry it anymore. They have, like, 15 new colors and this got, I guess didn't make the cut. They have another one that is similar to it. I want to say it's a touch more peachy. It's a little bit less beigey. Um, so I will try and find the name of that color and flash it on the screen here so that you know what it is when you're shopping for nude lipsticks. I tried it on in the store and I liked it, but I already had this one so I didn't pick that one up, but it is definitely on my list of nude lipsticks that I don't need that I want. So these four nude lipsticks have been in my top drawer. And lastly, I have one fashion-y item to talk about, and that is a pair of boots. I got these boots for Christmas. They are from Target. They're the brand Morona, and these are just little black short booties. I've been wearing them to work. I've been wearing them all about, except for in the snow, because I don't want to ruin them. But they're so comfortable. They go with pretty much everything. They look great with jeans and a sweater. They look great dressed up. They look great casual. They're just a great pair of everyday kind of boots. This is sort of a new shape for me, and I really like it. I think it makes my foot look not too big. Sometimes I feel like boots, even though I have tiny feet, boots make my feet look big. I don't know. That's a weird thing to think. But anyways, I love these boots. Um, if I can find them, I, th I think they still do them. I think I saw them at Target last time I was there, but I'll link them below. Actually, I'll link everything that I mentioned today down below so that you can check it all out. Well, I hope you all enjoyed my January favorites. I hope that you find some things in there that you haven't seen before that you are interested in trying out. Or maybe if you'd seen me talk about some of those items in the past and you were interested in knowing more, maybe I hope you learned a little bit of that today. If there are any things that you think I would like to try out during the month of February, go ahead and leave those in the comments box below so that I can check out some new items. If you enjoyed my video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Open up my description box so that you can see the links to every single product that I talked about today, as well as the links to my social media. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all at John John Talks. You can also find a link to my Facebook page down there. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click on my face now so that you can be here every Monday and Thursday to see all of my new videos. And I will see you all next time. Bye.